Okay. Um, yeah, back to the Frozen Tears of Angels. This time the focus is clearly on the guitars and not the orchestra like it was in the Symphony of Enchanted Lands Part 2 and uh, the Triumph or well, but Agony. It was, uh, you know, uh, everything actually depends from the saga, yeah. uh, from the chapter of the saga. So the first part, even before composing, so before I meet Alex uh, to compose, um, is the saga the, the ruler of everything, no? Okay. So in, this, um, in this particular chapter of the saga, I was telling about these uh, five uh, uh, main characters moving from their lands uh, to these uh, Nordic uh, icy landscapes where they have to find more about this dark secret. And so I want really to concentrate lyrically on the, descri on the description uh, of the inner feelings of these characters, no? So the fear, the hope, you know? So the, in the end, uh, I was speaking, let's say, the truth about the metaphor uh, of, of life, no? Yeah. Because uh, this kind of journey that is always uh, the main element of my, uh, of the chapters of the saga, the search for something, is always part, uh, uh, is always, uh, the, 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 how you to say, uh, the metaphor of life, you know, the search, uh, the, the passage from the birth to the death. I, I wrote it in the in the website too, you no? Know? Yeah. Because uh, for me it was important that the people get this, you no? Know? This is not just a fairy tale, but it's full of hidden meanings. And so, I mean, what there is more mysterious than the, the mystery of life itself, you know? <laughs> From where we come, where do we go, all the questions that philosophers made during all the ages. And uh, everybody, I mean, all the, the artists try to express with their art, uh, all this stuff. And also we, uh, through our humble art, uh, we try to express this, you know? mm. So, the, the, all this to say <laughs> that uh, this chapter, as uh, I wanted to explore these uh, deep feelings, you know, of the, the person, of the human being like this, uh, I really wanted to describe it musically, uh, to underline these feelings with a, a, a strong guitar impact, no? Really, to because there is a lot of uh, uh, darkness, uh, of uh, uh, dark romantic elements, I would say, no? Because okay. you have to imagine these gr this gray, icy, blue landscapes that uh, uh, I consider fantastic, no? I was always attracted by this kind of uh, mother nature, uh, uh, how to say, show that you can have when you visit this Nordic lands like this. So for me it was important to implement in the saga also this kind of landscapes and this stuff, no? Because it's very mm. melancholic, it's very mystic, and so there is a lot of mystery uh, already, no? In the landscape themselves. Uh, this special light, uh, this uh, absence of uh, sunlight, uh, so, I mean, all these, uh, to describe all these, uh, the best choice was the one to use uh, a strong uh, impact. Okay, I see. <laughs> well, now I cannot help asking some questions about the storyline, and it's about Dago, because some people get a bit confused, including myself, actually. What is his actual relations to Vanka? Is he... Vanker's He's the step son of Vanker. The son? Is he actually the son? Sorry? Is he really the son? Because at some point it was mentioned that he was adopted by Vanker. No, 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 he was adopted, yes. So in the sense that he's the father, yes, yes. He was uh, adopted because found in one of these uh, war situations, no? Okay. So he was taken by this because he saw in him something particular, then he uh, trained him, no, in the name of this black magic and all this stuff, and then, uh, but then, uh, in Dargo, Dargo really represents the typical human being, no, uh -huh. with uh, his good side, his dark side, the eternal fight, uh, struggling himself uh, in every different life uh, situation, so uh, it's a character that really I love. I, okay, but his r real parents are not known and yeah sorry no no he, he was fined by Vankar in okay. one of these war situation you know okay i see uh, you, you can imagine no yeah he, he was uh, alone like this found he saw in him some particular light mm -hmm. and uh, no i would say dark light you know <laughs> something he could uh, use him for his uh, purposes 
and so he took him and he trained him with all the black magic and all the stuff. Okay. By the way, some quite few years ago, there were rumors of you coming up with a book based on the saga. Would you ever like to do that? Well, this is something that also Nukela Blast recently uh, they asked me, but the problem is the time, no? Because yeah. uh, <laughs> with the short time that I have, if I write a book, I don't practice guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to choose. <laughs> uh, I don't release any solo album. So it's always a matter of uh, choices in life, no? And these choices are very hard. But uh, of course, my dream would be the one of writing the, the whole saga. But uh, just imagine, it would take me years, like, uh, I don't know, Harry Potter, this kind of big saga, yeah. literary, <laughs> literary saga, no? And uh, I should write, to be really precise, a book about uh, every chapter of uh, each saga, no? Mm. So I should make four books for the Emirate Sword saga. <laughs> and then now other three to arrive at this point of the Dark Sigrid saga. So it would be a big, giant day for almost a mission of life, I would, uh, <laughs> I would say, you know. So in some way you have to take the, the, the right decision, you know. But in this moment I prefer to, to, to um, let's say, I have also to thank to, uh, Nuclear Blast because thanks to them we have the possibility to have uh, better looking booklets, uh, all this stuff, no? Yeah. So this already helps me to um, display more details about the saga itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, so already this is a step anyway, no? If you just compare to the Triumph for Agony albums, there was almost uh, no, no information about the chapter of the saga, no? Yeah. That, uh, so in the end, uh, it's already a good thing that we have the possibility to have so many pages in the booklet, and uh, I think we will be always more in this direction because I, I know that the people really want to know everything in detail. And uh, when I make an interview, it's very difficult for me because every time that you try to resume uh, <laughs> this kind of sagas, no, mm -hmm. or to explain about hidden meanings, all this is, is almost impossible to say it in, in a short words, no? Yeah. Uh, no, you, 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 you always. Uh, you look superficial or uh, you look, uh, I don't know, because uh, you should stay there explaining to the journalist for two days what the saga is about, yeah. no? <laughs> so it's something really complicated, it's, uh, it's not easy, but uh, of course the idea of the book is great, but uh, as I tell you, one day, who knows, never say never. Okay.